Wildcats! Welcome back to another episode of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15. Since this is our first episode, back from break, we have a lot to catch you up on. Like Polar Plunge, Wildcats Got Talent, Prom Theme and more. I'm Lauren. And I'm Addie. To start, off to Grayson for more information on Polar Plunge. Hey Wildcats, make sure you come to Polar Bear Plunge Saturday, January 27th at Longview Lake. Why would anyone want to jump into a lake in this weather? For a good cause, Annie. Let's go to Coach Cole for more. So Polar Bear Plunge is a fundraiser for Missouri Special Olympics. Uh, students can, or teachers can sign up for Polar Bear Plunge by scanning a QR code. There's flyers all around school. Or if you go to at Wildcat Senate Instagram or Twitter, we will have a link posted there. Up, you can scan one of the QR codes or go to the link in our bio on Instagram or Twitter and join our team. It's our Blue Springs High School team. Uh, it's part of the district team. And when on January 27th, you'll... Um, Join us at Longview Lake and take the plunge. It's not actually jumping into the frozen lake. It's just running in from the beach. You only go about waist high, um, and there's lots of medical professionals there. It's a very safe event, very fun event, and it's a great cause. So please join us and donate to Special Olympics. We hope to see everyone there at Polar Bear Plunge. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Grayson Austin. Back to you in the studio. Brr, sounds like the water's going to be cold. What if you get sick? Well, let's go to Ethan to see how to prevent that. Hey, Wildcats. <laughs> Yikes, buddy. Seems like this guy didn't take any precautions for cold and flu season. Here are a few things you can do to prevent yourself from getting sick. Number one, always wash and sanitize your hands. Don't be a dirty fool. Number two, avoid touching your eyes and your mouth. Number three, always cover your nose and mouth while sneezing or coughing. Don't be nasty. Number four, stay away from sick friends. If you are a sick friend, stay home. Don't be that guy. Or girl. Number five, avoid being outside in the cold weather for long periods of time, especially without the right clothing. Well, Wildcats, I hope these tips help you out for this year's cold and flu season. Signing off for Wildcat TV, this is Rena and Ethan. Now back to you in the studio. On the 15th, it was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Off to Michael to learn more about it. Hey, Wildcats. Last Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You may certainly know about his life. You may not know how it became a holiday. So, I'll go over a quick history of how his birthday was proposed and made into a holiday. On April 8th, 1968, four days after King's assassination, Representative John Conyers proposed a bill to turn King's birthday into a holiday. Although it was only 11 years later, in 1979, after years of support, the bill reached the House of Representatives for a vote. The bill fell five votes short to pass, but even though it didn't pass, support continued. With efforts organized by the King Center, founded by his wife, Coretta Scott King, the holiday received support from Congress members, President Jimmy Carter, and it grew even bigger when the Stevie Wonder, a huge supporter for the holiday, released a song you may know called Happy Birthday in commemorance of Dr. King. Finally, 15 years later, Bill returned to the House again in 1983, and his support was overwhelming with a petition receiving six million signatures and presented to the House. It passed in the House and then later in the Senate. On November 2nd, 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed Martin Luther King Jr. Day as a national holiday, and by 2000, it was recognized in all 50 states. And in 1994, President Bill Clinton signed the King Holiday and Service Act, making it the only holiday designated as a national day of service. So Wildcats, that was a history of how Martin Luther King Jr. Day became a holiday. And next year, think about what you can do in your community in memory of Dr. King. Wildcats, on January 22nd, NHS is coming out with invitations, juniors and seniors. If you have questions, go to room 118 to see Miss Wesley. Hey, catch. Let's play basketball. Um, maybe later. Right now, let's see a pro. What's up, Wildcats? This is Jordan, and I'm here with senior guard Jayla. Now, Jayla, how does it feel to score a thousand points in your career? Um, it feels great. Um, 
I'm just grateful to be able to get the opportunity to be able to score a thousand points, so it feels really good. What players or coaches impacted you so far? Um, I would say definitely Coach Mark Spigarelli and Aliyah Lee, as well as uh, my trainer uh, Marcus Walker, um, just motivating me and um, just helping me get to this point and to be able to do something such as score my thousand points. What? Okay, fine. We can go play. We will be right back with a Mr. Wildcat announcement, Wildcat Got Talent, and more. Stay tuned. Let Big Frog outfit your clubs and teams and help your fundraisers and more by creating your very own online store with professional help from Big Frog. First, select the gear, artwork, and options for your store. Second, Big Frog builds your online store to match your branding. Third, promote your new online store to your team, parents, and fans by sharing a link. Your store is open 24-7. And, best of all, you are never stuck with leftover inventory. Products are made as orders are received. Get started today. Contact Big Frog and Independence at 816-795-1115. Hi, I'm Isaiah Bragg with Country Financial. My wife and I and our family live in Blue Springs. In fact, my wife is a teacher in the school district. When it comes to covering your needs for auto, home, business, and life insurance, we can help you out through Country Financial. We offer auto discounts for teachers, students with good grades, police officers, firefighters, and EMTs. We have very competitive rates, and it's worth a phone call to find out how much you can save. Call us at 816-795 6340 or come by our office just off AA Highway in Grain Valley. Hey students, this is Brandon Jackley with Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. We are looking for great talent, so why don't you come join us? Some of the great things about working at Chick-fil-A Blue Springs is that we promote from within our own team. We have flexible hours where you can create your own schedule. We have competitive pay where full-time team members start at 15 an hour. We also offer college scholarships. Last year, we had 11 students receive a college scholarship from Chick-fil-A Blue Springs. So come join the Chick-fil-A Blue Springs family by texting my pleasure to 816-494-2208 to apply today. I'm a librarian and I scout. I'm a teacher and I scout. I'm a nurse and I scout. I'm a secretary and I scout. I'm a student and I scout. I am the director and I scout. Open weekdays 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday 7 to 5, Sunday 7 to 2. Mr. Wildcat tryouts are January 31st through February 2nd during Wildcat Hour shifts A and B. Before we went on break, there was an event in the PAC, and I have more about it. Last semester, Wildcats Got Talent was on December 15th and was hosted in the PAC by our Senate members Ivy Chelligant, Michael Cates, Jacob Dance, and Lauren Jones. The show was for Blue Springs students to showcase their talent for a cash grand prize. The winner of the talent show was Ethan Griffin with his Michael Jackson act. Let's go back to me and Addie in the studio. Lauren, I'm so excited for prom. Wait, do you know what the theme is? No, but Avery and Tavion do. And the 2024 prom theme is, drum roll please, Hollywood. Prom will take place May 4th at the Weston Crown Center in Kansas City. The prom will last 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Well, well, cats, that's it. More information about prom later. We'll see you guys there. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Tavion Jackson. And I'm Ever Gamble. Back, Back to, to you in, in the studio. studio. Now I have to get my prom dress. Wait, Addie, we're filming. Never mind. We'll be right back after this commercial. Your home is your castle. <laughs> Are pests invading your castle? Let Mach 2 Pest Control help protect your home from invading armies of pests. We create a moat around your home to protect it from superhighway of pests trying to invade your castle. 
Get your throne back. Make pests a thing of the past with Moxie Pest Control. See how at killbugsfast.com. Hi, my name is Hanya, and uh, I have been coming here to Dahlquist Dental probably over 25, probably about 27 years. It's really, really friendly. I love coming here. My kids still come here. My husband comes here. It's a family-run organization, and you, you really feel like family. So it's a good place to come. I highly recommend it. Needing some work done on your car? Either maintenance or repair, come to Randy's Personal Auto Service. We are a family owned and operated auto repair service in Blue Springs. You might be wondering, do we have experience? Well, we've been helping students and teachers like you in the Blue Springs area for 30 years. We service most makes and models for regular maintenance, safety inspections, brakes, heating and AC repair, engine repair, tires, diagnostics, steering and suspension, alignment, and more. We also have secured overnight parking to keep your vehicle safe. Give us a call at 816-224-3217 for your next service or repair. Randy's Personal Auto Service. Quality service at a fair price. Hey, have you enrolled for next year? No, not yet. Why? Well, Trey has more information that could be helpful for you. Hey Wildcats, it's Trey. With enrollment coming up, there's a lot of things to talk about for the next school year, so let's get right into it. Starting off with current freshmen, your enrollment presentations will be during your English classes and will be split up into two days. January 18th will be for hours 1 through 4, and January 19th will be for hours 5 through 7. Also, be on the lookout for February 13th and 14th as you'll meet one-on-one -on -one with your counselors to review your ICAP for the next school year. For current sophomores and juniors, be on the lookout for January 16th and 17th for enrollment presentations also. January 16th will be for hours 1 through 4, and January 17th will be for hours 5 through 7. And for individual enrollments, that will be for January 29th through February 8th during your history classes. Also, it's not too late if you're interested in the CIC program. You can apply for the following programs that they offer. Also, save the date for January 24th as that is curriculum night for our school. It's highly recommended that you go and check it out as you can learn about more opportunities for your future and what classes might interest you. Good luck on enrollment, Wildcats. Make sure to pick classes that will help you with your future goals and something that you'll enjoy. I'm Trey Dayo and back to you in the studio. If you are wanting to go see our school's musical production of Cinderella, online ticket sales are now open. Performances are February 8th, 9th, and 10th at 7 p.m. in the PAC. Jonathan has some information on the a program. What's up, my brother? Oh. What happened to you, man? Man, I was up all night last night writing like 30 essays for college, bro. I'm just trying to get in a good college and my arm gave out. You know, you could just make it easier by doing A+, plus, right? What's A+. Plus? Go talk to Carpenter for more. Hi guys, Mrs. Carpenter. Just wanted to remind you about the A plus scholarship program. If you are interested and have not applied, please stop by the atrium office so we can get you the enrollment packet. Um, there's also trainings that are required. We have a training coming up in February and then two more in April and you will have to have a training completed before you can start your tutoring hours. And remember that this is a great opportunity to pay for college. You get two years free college at any Missouri Community College, vocational school or technical school. Again, I'm in the atrium office if you have any questions. Well, Wildcats, I hope that information helped you as much as it did me. I'm Jonathan Jackson, and back to you in the studio. Our first episode is almost over. I know, we only have sports left. Off to Gabby, Tanya, and Annie. Hey, Wildcats, for sports, we have a lot of catch up from break, so let's get to it. 
Over the snow days, the boys' basketball team managed to string some wins. On January 9th, they went to Liberty North and beat them 50-40. They also had another win against Truman on Tuesday, January 16th, 152-53. Coach Jones showed that the team is improving statistically with 13 transition points, two blocks, and scoring 1.14 points per precision in the last game. Girls basketball has had three losses and six wins so far. Their next home game is on February 8th. We'll update you on that next episode. Wrestling was able to get some wins this past week and we were able to catch an interview with Ari to share more. So we had a combined tournament because the girls tournament was canceled so we combined with the boys and it was a they had nine mats there, so that was really fun. <laughs> um, for the girls, we got uh, seven matches. Um, I was wrestling for 140. We had a 125 girl and a 105 girl. Um, I got third place, which was really fun. Um, we're having a good season, <laughs> especially for the girls, for having such a small girls team. It was our pre-conference, so kind of our pre to districts, so we, what we'll most likely see and kind of see our competition for going to state. Unfortunately, the girls swim and dive team has had three meets canceled due to the weather, though they are trying to reschedule for this week. They do have a meet on Thursday, February 1st. That's all we have for sports. I'm Vitanya. And I'm Gabby. And back, back to you in the studio. Okay, Wildcats. That ends this episode. I'm Lauren. And I'm Addie. And remember, it's, it's always, always a great day, day to be a Wildcat. Wildcat. <laughs> Yay!